much. This is Battle for Cash Season 2. Hundreds apply to be part of this business reality show, but only 20 DFC investment clubs have made it for this unique opportunity. Last week on the Battle for Cash. 20 DFC investment clubs from different parts of the country converged at the capital to tussle it out in season two of the battle for cash. They first had to convince the judges that their ideas were the best. So how much money would you be looking for? 14 million. What's the impact? Investment is very high. How much does it cost you to produce each? Each, each player costs 15,000 Ghana shillings. Pitek Women's Association played their card and lost. This week, nine more investment clubs from all over Uganda are fighting to stay afloat. They're all pitching their big ideas to the judges and hope that the judges will buy in. They're playing to win 30 million shillings, 20 million shillings, 15 million shillings and lots of other cash prizes. There's a study tour to Nairobi and business advisory services for one year with Price Waterhouse Coopers. These are investments worth fighting for. We are here to battle for this cash. I think we are the best group to invest your money into. We are here to provide clean energy. We are talking about fertilizer, which has been there before our environment was distorted by human activities. But first, the clubs have to go past the judges. In one second, tell me what you want. Anne Johaire Mohanji, a life coach and motivational speaker, passionate about empowering people, Anne has 15 years experience in capacity building and personal development. Anne is a senior consultant with Investors Club Limited, an investments club coach, a member of the Heritage Investment Club, the Reader's Table Club, and also the founding chairperson of the Investment Clubs Association of Uganda. Why would I put in money if I know you're not clear on where you want to put it? Adam Sengoba. Adam is an associate director in PricewaterhouseCoopers with over 12 years experience in provision of audit, corporate governance, risk management, regulatory compliance, information security, technology assurance, and resilience services to clients across Africa. He has helped clients across the public and private sector industries in building risk-resilient entities through better identification, assessment, measurement, mitigation, and the optimal leverage of risks for business benefit. I'm sorry, but I don't get that. I don't know whether you're in the business of research. Michael Mwesigwa, a senior manager for investment clubs and SACOs at DFCU Bank, Michael has had an illustrious 10-year career in banking spanning from sales, product development, strategy formulation and execution, business growth to wealth management. A trainer and motivational speaker, Michael is an advisor on the Chamber of Young Entrepreneurs and has been instrumental in coaching over 500 entrepreneurs regarding personal branding, sales and business growth. Michael is on the quest to help Ugandans build wealth by strengthening their synergies through investment clubs and SACOs while making a positive change to society. The remaining nine investment clubs are set to pitch to the judges with hopes of making it to the next level. Oyster Investment Club, Kina Sako, Magazi Kukola, Cape of Good Hope, Agri Investment Kibbutz, Ahmad Investment Club, Iolula Farmers Traders Women Group, Kabura Mayumba Youth Mushroom Growers, and the Corporates Club Uganda. In the end, one investment club will have to go home. First up to see the judges is an investment club all the way from Kabale. We have built confidence in, uh, in ourselves and uh, first we are determined, uh, as you see us, all the way from Kabale, we, tra we traveled the last night. So I think we, we deserve it, we deserve it. Their project is growing lean protein edible fungi mushrooms. Uh, our project proposal is based around the potential of Kabaramuyum youth mushroom growers to gain financial independence through uh, entrepreneurship and agribusiness. 
We have a mushroom running business for the first year. Uh, we have been in operation for almost a year. Our buyers are hotels, supermarkets, uh, local markets, and local people. We have a huge market, but our main, our main challenge is limited finance and capacity building is a bit lacking. We wish not to only produce mushroom, but also we need to process the mushrooms. We have decided to engage in this project because it has been pro pro provided lucrative and it will enable us to achieve our goal. But how much money in total do you need? We are targeting around 10 million, but... 20 million? Yeah, if we can get more, uh, we would have no problem. Just to break it down, how much do you think the vehicle will cost, the refrigerated vehicle? Uh, uh, initially, I had talked about 70 million. Uh, it will cost uh, around 30 million. But you need 20 million for this entire project? No. What else can you do out of mushroom? Do you have those plans? The, the residues from the mushrooms, uh, the, the substrates, uh, are used for, for manure in our gardens. What input would you get from mushroom to be able to grow bigger? We put in <coughs> we put in a, we put in a fertilizer whereby we get like a rice brand we put in, we mix, then we, we, make, we produce a quality mushroom. Out of the 10 members, how many of them are dedicated to this project? Because I understand mushroom growing is so sensitive and you need all hands on deck. How many of your members are fully committed to this project? And two, can the project sustain them? All of us are very committed, but my fellow here is, is always there for it. Iorula Farmers Group specializes in rice production. Why do we focus on agriculture? We have realized that uh, over 80% of women in the rural areas are involved in agriculture activities. So not to leave them behind, we have to bring, to bring, to bring them on board and we, we achieve our target. It's a women's group represented by Emmanuel. Very ironic. What business idea? do you have that we uh, the, you, the business that idea you today? which brought us here is the establishment of a rice processing factory mm -hmm. and this one majorly will be located in the sub county we shall process rice and you advocate for collective marketing have you started on it already uh, right currently we are doing agro we are we in produce we are buying but you know with the Buying the products which are unprocessed, we experience a lot of challenges like middlemen who come in with a different motive. This time around, we think and we hope when we add value to these things, we shall have more and more bargaining power. How but much money do you need for this project? We need, it, we need 25 million, 250. And how much of that? Could you break it down? What is it going to do? We are going to buy the machines. Which costs how much? The machines are costing around 18, 18 million. Mm -hmm. Then we shall get a space. We shall get electricity installation and the installers who will install the machines. So uh, currently, are you trained to handle those machines? Basically, we, uh, yes. Have you worked on those machines before? Yes. But you, you're saying you're in the business of produce. You're just buying produce and you get challenges with middlemen and stuff. So that uh. means someone else is doing the processing. So you have a ready market already? And where we is that market? Being at the nearby border, we have market. There's market there. You're also cognizant of the fact that there's stiff competition because this business, in, I mean in Toro, there are many rice millers. Yes. What's your strategy around um, what is going to give you an edge over competition in Toro? One, we are going to do what we call branding of our product. We shall be offering comp uh, pricey, we shall go in for price whatever. We give discounts to our bulk transporters. We are going to create a way forward of seeing how we are, we, are, we are transporting our products to our real customers. For example, if you buy in a bulk, we either avail you with the transport, we hire for you because currently we don't have a transport means, but we can see how to, to hire for you. Or we give you a discount which matches with the, the distance where I we are I hear going. the tents that you're using, we are going to. We are mm. going to. 
I'm afraid that you're here to pitch, isn't it? Yes, please. So imagine if we're investors. If you talk to an investor about going to, meaning you have not done anything on the ground. After how long will I get to have back the 25 million shillings that I gave you? Uh, after, after setting up this uh, initiative, I think you just give us six months. We're looking at both financial impact and, and financial impact and social impact. Our social impact, we're looking at programmers at an entry level. We give them, we mentor them, and actually give them the skills that actually this environment needs. So we've come for that money. Three minutes is a short time to make a pitch, so every contestant has to make it work, short and smart. Ahmad Group took a long time to get it right. Ahmad Investment Club was created to further the dream of a ready and running business that started in 2012. So it's Adroid Solutions. Adroid Solutions is a, a growing systems developer, integrator, and an implementer. We provide services in training and supporting the systems where the client, clients that are, the systems have been implemented. Our product, our product is business process automation with Microsoft Dynamics Nav and in-house built systems. That is our product. The market and competition. So many companies in Uganda are suffering with so many diverse systems that cannot integrate all the things at once. So the product that we give, it works in all departments. HR, everything. It puts them together into finance and you get the product. Uh, our next thing is uh, the entrepreneurial experience. We are blessed to develop a great relationship with a group of skilled and talented software developers and see them grow and share into the company realization of goals. They teach us as we teach them. Our efforts include mentoring them, uh, scheduling daily training, tolerance of mistakes, assigning appropriate uh, projects and giving and accepting feedback. Listen to different ideas and treating junior developers with respect. So this is a trending thing and very exciting project. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, yes. Just to take you back to some of the things you've mentioned. Um, how, I realize there's a company on one side and there's a, an investment and club mm -hmm. on the other. So how are the two governed? Also what happened was, uh, me and him were part of the company. The other group members, so this was a church discipleship group. So we sat down with him and actually we spoke to the discipleship group that the church had, uh, had, had actually appropriated. It's an accountability discipleship group. So we told them, let's save together this business. Do the rest of the eight or the ten, yes. do they have shares in the company? They don't have shares in the company. So it means you guys have come to pitch as the two of you because you're the two directors in the company. You're not, an, you're not pitching as an investment club, are you? We are pitching as an investment club. So what's on ground as we speak now? What You've is talked about all these figures of mm. how the company is performing and all. Yes. And for me, it doesn't add up. So what's your total need right now? Okay, that's what I said. The, 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 the company at the moment... No, leave the company, yeah. the investment club. Okay, so we do not have a need for cash as the investment club. Because the purpose for the investment club was to meet the needs of the company. What we're trying to tell you here is this, yes. that you're probably giving the other guys a raw deal. Yes. Yeah? You, you're saying you, you, the investment club is not need, in need of cash, so it's the company in need of cash. So if it's me on the other side, I'm part of this investment group, and we're putting together cash for your company where I don't have directorship, you know, there's no way I'm going to buy that. Thank you very much for your submission. We'll get back to you on, on the success of your submission. Battle for cash. Battle for cash. Our project being a very unique project and uh, the fishing sector or the, uh, the fish cage farming sector being a very small and but steadily growing sector, we look at exploiting this opportunity and our project being unique gives us a very big edge over the rest of uh, the competing investment clubs. Cape of Good Hope walk into the boardroom totally confident about their white meat project proposal. We intend to uh, engage in cage fish farming which involves breeding of fish in suspended uh, 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 cages in water with the volumes of uh, high, de high volume, low density capacity, and low, de low volume, high density capacity. We estimate to achieve about 184,000 kilograms of fish per cycle. 
as well as precise control over the growth of the fish feeds in terms of feeding pattern, sampling of fish to determine the size, as well as maintenance of the cages, among others. Our, fixed, our costs are estimated, specifically fixed costs at about 74 million, variable costs at about uh, 1.2 billion, and uh, income of about 1.7, giving us a net profit of uh, about 4 point, uh, 421 million shillings in the first cycle. Okay, thank you very much. Um, how much money do you need for this project? 74 million shillings. Our targeted sales are 1.6 billion. When the survival rate is about 80%, the expected outcome from, that, from, from the 480 will be about 368. And we expect selling price uh, to be about 9,000 shillings per kilogram. So it will give us about 1.6 billion. Your language is all futuristic. We intend to, how would an investor trust that when they give you the finances that you'll be able to implement the project effectively? We have taken a milestone, especially in terms of consultation with the various stakeholders. Omal <coughs> and Vastra have given us adequate preparation in this area of the, of the aquaculture, which is the catch fish farming. Where, is, where are you going to, to, to we, carry this whole? We this intend whole. to have it in, in Busia, on Lake Victoria. Everything you're talking about is pretty much theoretical. What, tell me a project that you've done that will give me the confidence that you have the skill set, the mindset, the experience of running a successful aquaculture project. I've had uh, two years' experience, and uh, this project, that, well, the reason that's why we came out uh, to take up this project is because of the, the, the gap that I saw as far as uh, fish production is concerned. Have yeah. you attained the license? We haven't attained a license, but uh, having a, a detailed proposal is one of the requirements. And we believe uh, uh, after accumulation of uh, the required amounts of money, we'll be able to do a site feasibility study together with our proposal. And we believe we'll acquire a, a, a license for the aquaculture. So we want to know how far have you gone in terms of research, in terms of effort? What efforts have you invested, apart from just writing a proposal? What efforts have you invested in this project so that even if you didn't get the money, can the club be able to take up this project? We have uh, had consultants, that is Omal and Vastra. Vastra has helped us on the cage design, mm -hmm. the cages. Omal has, give, has taken us to, to Busia. He's one of the, the consultants selected by, by the fisheries department to Busia. And in Busia, we realize that there are already two, two, two small farmers in the, same, in, the, in, in the same area. And in their, in their kind of report, when they were trying to show us, mm -hmm. The site is very conducive for that kind of, 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 of project. Now, the ultimate goal for us is to finalize with, with, the, with the proposal. In the process of finalizing with the proposal, that is when the battle for cash came in. And we said, fine, this is also an opportunity for us to exploit. We can shoot two birds with one stone. So we submitted the proposal. But the, but the, the visibility study and acquiring the lances is an ongoing process. <laughs> Oyster Investment Club has nothing to do with aquaculture. Oyster Investment Club is into business of tree planting. That's right. And Joseph and Wilberforce are determined to take the money home. We have all the, the, the knowledge and the profession and we, we are sure we'll stand up to the battle. We're skilled. We have skilled and expertise in various areas. Engineering, investment. We have also bankers who among our members. We have acquired 200 acres of land so far. And we said instead of leaving it... Where have you acquired the land? In Ruero, Bolemezi. Uh, we plant trees to give some a bit of value. So the project for the tree planting, we are estimating, okay, including land acquisition and the planting, we are to spend 600 million. Why tree planting? Instead of just leaving uh, the land there, we create value by planting trees. Uh, as the land appreciates, also the trees will give us some. So do you, know, and do you know the numbers about trees? Y yes. That when do you harvest? How much will a pole cost? E exactly. We want to hear that process. And, okay. also, and also what kind of trees? Because you're talking about tree planting. I'm okay, just we, what kind of trees. We are going to plant Eclipters grandis.
from South Africa. That's the, the one we have zeroed to. And each acre, we are planting about 500 trees. So our target on the 200 acres will be 100,000 trees. If we harvested it at five, I mean at five years, will be, we are talking about five billion shillings. If we waited up to 10 years, the tree maybe will be at around 100,000 per poll. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, wish you all the best, yeah? And thank we'll get back to you. Please. Okay. Ronald and Abdu, assertive and confident, represent Kina Sako. Remember, so that we are the best people who can bring out their proposal, who can bring out their idea and send it to you, and you'll be able to fund it. These youngsters are the future real estate moguls. In the project of real estate, the circle collects money and buys a big chunk of land. Then we cut it in two pieces. We sell these small pieces to our members at a loan, in a way as they are given loans, where a member is given two years to pay for the plot. And after the plot is completed, now we brought in the idea of constructing houses for them. So we are here to look for that money to start the hardware because we don't give them money in cash, but we, give, we plan to be giving them materials like bricks, buying them, and even labor support. So we give them a loan in the form of a labor support and material. So uh, we tried to compute a budget here of a three-roomed house. Uh, we saw that it costed around 13 millions, and uh, a member is only required to pay 20% of that uh, 13 million, which is around 2.6 million, at an interest rate of only 1% after a year. We propose, or we, we think this project will benefit our members, and it will benefit our circle. The circle will benefit because it is sellable, it will get more clients, it will make more profits, and it will benefit our clients in a way that the construction company will be giving jobs to our members because they are the ones we plan to use, and it will, members will earn more dividends. Uh, we've bought land, we have Adonai Estate, we have uh, Chinawa Estate, we have even Pine Estate. There, the plots are there, we've sold about 50 plots to our members, and uh, we are planning to help them again construct those houses. A loan takes around two to three years. The money we are looking for is for starting the hardware. We think this is a proposal that needs funding. Okay, thank you very much. I'm, I'm particularly passionate about housing. Yes. And so this is a project that I'm, I'm, I just want to keenly understand it. Yeah. What's the cost of each plot? 50 by 50, it is between 5 and 6 millions. Okay. So are you saying, because I remember in your member composition, you said you're looking at low-income earners. Yeah. So you're buying a plot, you're selling to them a, a plot at 5 million shillings? Yes. And you say 50 plots have been sold already? Yeah. And you also say that the cost of constructing a three-bedroom house? A three-bedroom house. Is 13 million shillings? 13 million. 13? Yeah. 30 or 13? 13 million. 13 million shillings. And yeah. you said, I mean, I, I, I saw you projecting, so you, you have a house that has been built for 13 yeah, million shillings? Yeah, we have a plan for that house. For 13 million shillings? Yeah, for 13 And so you say you want to give out loans yes. to members, mm. but not in terms of hard cash. Yes. What you want to give them is material? Material and labor support. And labor? Yeah. And so this hardware will be selling all the material that is needed to construct a house? What we are, what, what you are planning to do, the hardware, the hardware will be selling those materials, but there, there is a way we do it that the circle pays that money to the hardware. Eh? Okay. Then the circle has given the loan to a member. The hardware, the hardware will be getting cash. Then the member starts paying the loan in the circle, but we don't give you cash to go and buy so, uh, uh, anywhere else. What I'm trying to understand here is you say in terms of pricing of the loan, because you're going to make revenue through different ways. Yes. So interest on the loan that you advance to the members. Yes. What interest rate is that? It is 1% per month. 1% per month. So yeah. you're looking at basically charging 12%. 12% only. Have you started the project? The project we've started with only this portion of buying land and selling it to our members. But we've not started this project of the hardware and the construction of houses. So now you're in the business of giving out money, you're in the business of running a hardware, you're in the business of buying plots. Mm. What's and that one thing that you would add? Yes. question, mm. the legal conflict. The legal conflict. Are now, you going to register the hardware as a, a company and then you're running a circle okay. and then you have plots of land? How does that merge to be circles one? Circles are basically uh, 
they collect savings and give out loans, basically. But we are told that you can venture into business if the lending exercise is not affected and if the member's savings is not affected. So how are you going to manage that? That is the question. We have tried because uh, we've, we are now looking for money from here to, to inject it to the hardware. And uh, we, our, our, the, the, the member's savings are not affected. We are looking for money to inject it to the hardware. And remember, we are giving them as loans to members. Still, we love remained in the business of giving loans. You've said it costs around 13 million to put up that house as of today. Mm. Yeah? Mm. What I'm simply saying, the 13 million is based on the price of cement being 30,000. Yeah. It might be 35,000 the next yes. day. Yes. And that, how have you managed that cost so that it's not hitting the circle to de deplete your capital mm. or to deplete the profits you're making? Okay. Uh, they are, they, they, there is the miscellaneous, according to the budget that we have, we put at least some money to cater for that. But that's the miscellaneous, because the price may go okay, up. Th oh. thank, thank you very much. You're yeah. welcome, sir. This season on The Battle for Cash, you too can be a winner. This is how. Do you have a product or business that you are working on? Pitch that idea in a 30 second video and send the video to this WhatsApp number. The top three pitches will be posted on the DFCU social media pages for people to vote. The winner will get 400,000 shillings. This money will be wired to the winner's DFCU bank accounts. Battle for Cash. for cash. Remy and Elisa of Agri Investment Kibbutz have smelt the money in the coffee, but will they convince the judges? The global consumption of coffee is 154 million bags according to statistics of 2017, and Uganda sold its highest turnover in 2017 of 4.6 million bags. However, as a country, we strategize to sell 20 million bags by 2025. To lay a strong framework for this production, we need to have good quality planting materials because the genetic makeup contributes significantly to the yield. We as our investment kibbutz have been producing coffee seedlings since 2015. We have sold a million seedlings and generated 300 million revenue from 2015. With this, we have been able to acquire our central press in Nagarama Mukono. However, we appreciate the shift in the demand by the customers from allied seedlings, what government is distributing, to clonal coffee seedlings. We therefore strategize to establish a coffee mother garden and to expand our production from 20,000 clonal seedlings to 100,000 by 2019. To achieve this, we need to have a stable supply of water for production. We therefore battle for this cash to win the 30 million and invest it in drilling and installing a 20,000 liter capacity irrigation system at our farm. With the coffee, we are sure we never go wrong and we are the right team. You can invest and have a wider social economic impact to the community. And how much is this uh, 20,000 liter capacity water? I don't know, water project that mm. you want, how much does it cost? 56 million. I would yes. like specifics of annual performance. In our first year, we were able to sell 200,000 seedlings, each going at 300, so that generated 60 million yeah. in our first year. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Much appreciated. We'll give you feedback and all the very best. Uganda is busting with lots of fresh, juicy fruit. Yum. We had about 10 ideas, but we saw this idea can sell because it helps the club to, do, to grow and it will even help the communities to grow. So as you said, I think the judges, we are confident that we are really going to be number one. Perez and Edward, representing the Corporates Club from Ntungamo, want to dry the fresh fruit for export. If we say the sweetest pineapple in the world comes from Uganda, the sweetest pineapple in Uganda comes from Ntungamo. If you eat some fruit from Ntungamo, you eat the best fruit. So if we dry them up and bring it to the market, a cooperate in an office would be able to pick this dried up banana other than going to the street to pick it as the, the way it is. This project, we saw that it could benefit mainly the community. Most uh, people in Ntungamo, they are farmers, but we want to add value with their products, especially pineapples. 
We have too much printer. Some of you, when you are driving, you can see. In a dry season, they come to a very low price. So we thought that the only way the corporates can help the community really to increase their income is by keeping that and we dry them so that the prices can really remain on a high. Thank you. So very quickly, how much money do you want from us? Um, we want 30 million because that's what was promised at the winners and we think we can win. So, so um, kindly just justify the ask for 30 million. What will it do? Uh, the 30 million we shall, which we shall win from here, we want to construct the um, organic solar uh, fruit drying that that machine and and uh, the house. You talked about the project was implemented before. Have you uh, carried out research why it failed? Uh, most of the things that Africa had constructed for these farmers collapsed, but uh, the technology still exists. And uh, some of our members participated in, this, in, the, in developing of this project. So it's easy for us to pick from the scratches, develop this project, and even do it better than what was designed in the first place. Okay, you mentioned that this was a 30,000 US dollar project. Yeah? Projected to make 60,000 each month. So how does 30 million tie into a 30,000 US dollar project? This project was started in three sub-counties. That's why the amount of money is quite high. But for us, we are going to start to construct two houses, and each one is costing 18 million just to, to, to construct that and put everything. Already we have land through our savings. So far we have one year, but we have bought two pieces of land. So the land is there where we can construct. What's the uptake in the urban centers? Specifically, we are drying for export. The research we have made also is that uh, the people who are diabetic are not allowed to consume some, some of these fruits. But when they are dry, it's easier for them to consume because the, biz the biggest concept for not consuming is that it may prevent them from taking much water. But when they eat these dried fruits, they would be allowed to take much water, and that water would occupy their bodies and, and make them avoid the consequences of being there. We are trying to, to make sure our level base goes higher, and we are here for a battle to make sure that we can win 30 million so that we can go higher so that, and even increase on our stock. Kola Saboni, that's our sample, ne juice. Tweta Gasente. Above all, mostly this glamour juice is very good for everyone. It is the one it is an hub by itself. Why hibiscus is an herb by itself, we use it as a drug. It is an organic drug, and it is a nutrient, it is an immune booster, and uh, sometimes it helps also to cleanse the body, and it is also a healing drug for people who have stomach trouble. In case of ulcers, we prefer using hibiscus juice. Even liquid soap is very good for everyone, and it is very, by its smell alone, can push someone to buy it. When did you start producing the juice? We started producing this hibiscus juice last year. Is when we started. So how much have you sold? I cannot deceive you because we always sell daily. In a week, we, we make three days of sale. Mm. In case when we walk, because, but most uh, we oversell on Sundays. Because on Sundays, churches, there are very many people and people enjoy it very much. So now tell us, do you have a book where you, s you say this week this is what we've sold and this is how much we got? Yes. For juice, we sold 47,000, which is 40, 47 bottles of okay. hibiscus juice. Because each bottle is of 1K. Okay, how much does it cost you to produce that juice? This juice, to produce it, it costs mostly, at times, we can use like 23,000, 24, and we can make around 47, 
thousand, but when you, in case when you remove for the for expense, you remain like with twenty something of the sort. Capital maker Jemuaga look take a moon project Jemulisi one. Twagala million in Gakumi. Ziba Zinza Kola Kolachi. Tweta Gama Chupago, Katingane Saboni Womulaba, Taina Lebo, Tweta Galebo Za Saboni, No Kongera Kugund, Kutini Nam, Katkat Subidan to two quad the million Kumi. Church in Avamu million Kumiz. But to Damokutuno leader. Wanga tuwa gala kula banti, wetu tuko kuu jiko zesa, obo kutuko ujitu ndawa wa ntabalala. Ngeri mugredi, obo ngeri mkualite, guli omu cha akolachi, cha ya ya nila monsiyo na, okusinga kuu kutunulira, evi nte vila leve wevi. Ngeri jemu, jemu vini ntimuli nevi okunyo vya mutunda, chikuru nyo okubei ranti, mufuna uh, certification yeyo, okubai mnyo NBS, kubai, Tubera ni nendo de nyingi nyingi izinzo kuva mu juiso so mbanga e certification te mujirina era mujja kubanti abantu be mwagala okutunza nabo basuka kuwekengera kuba mwagala okugenda waguru ne ulibo genda waguru no mtu jaja komokola chi okutunuira chi chotunda ochikolotya Uwina abantu haba kutunuli di haba itayo jobi kolera ni waga manti hey ama kore doji jebi vavyo na wenavi nitu virunji. So mba nga echo temuchirina muinzo kutagenda wala nyo. Echo kubili waluochi mwogede kucha tin number nga muchi geraganya ni senteze mweta kukola tin number. Okusingo kumanya gotulina tewali echitongo lechikunganye misolo techisaba sente kufuni da muntu tin number. As the judges take time out to deliberate, let's first find out who is this week's at-home winner of the 400,000 shillings cash prize. Hello, DFCU Bank, I'm with Battle with Cash. And my name is Officer Mayengo Joseph, 23 years. I do bricklaying to earn a living. It is manual, but very tiresome. Um, the business has helped me to earn a living, to contribute on my tuition, also to help my fellow youth who don't have anything. So, in the case I win this 400 k I'm expecting it to earn, to, to, to add in my business. I also expect it to use that money to get waste products for recycling so that you do away from firewood which deteriorate the natural environment uh, i do this business and uh, if the broke is ready you sell it at 160 so i kind of ask supporters if you are there willing to support me to come and do business because also i learned this land to do my business so I thank DFCU for this program. Thank you very much. And I ask you to come and support the youth because many are jobless. Many are jobless. They have nothing to do. So ask you to come support us. I'll be very happy if I'm one of the lucky winners. I'll lose that money profitably. The judges have deliberated long and hard. And now for the verdict. So the following investment clubs are going home. Agri Investment, Cape of Good Hope, Oyster, Chinakwe Kulakulanya, and Magazine Investment Club. Please step away. Yourself, you're still in the competition. <laughs> <laughs> for us at Battle for Cash, we think that we come to learn, we come to share. So my first feedback goes to Yelula Farmers. You did not articulate yourself very well with the process. Where is the rice coming from? where we're selling it, 
how much do we get out of the rice? And of course, the impression that you gave us was you only coming together because you want to do the, pr the rice planting and because of battle for cash. You seem to be not a consolidated investment club. You also do not have a history of the practical project that you have done. So that is feedback from this panel. Thank you very much. At this point in time, allow me to give feedback to Kabora, Nuyobo, youth mushroom growers. A lot can be done around mapping your markets, what branding it is that you're going to use, and then a clear-cut, predictable marketing strategy. Because right now you seem to be praying and spraying without a clear marketing strategy. Um, the corporates, very well presented and confident. You know, you're, you haven't articulated very well what it's going to take for you to deliver the, the factory project. Yeah, from start to end and as regards the financing and then um, thereafter say that probably if we win this match it will help us go so much in terms of say cover 60 percent of the costs and these are our plans to cover the remaining costs yeah so you, you seem like you're just rushing into the competition to get the money and then you'll do the thinking after to another great investment club uh, represented by two charismatic gentlemen who have a lot of zeal and energy and that really caught my eye and that's mad investment club first i must say you're very eloquent um had a very good understanding of your of, of your area of operation you sounded like a good subject matter expert uh, i like the impact of you actually uh, taking on board you know potential software engineers as you call them and the fact that you have um, goals of making sure that you make them more employable. Um, but allow me at this point in time, quote you verbatim, and this is what you say. You say, our investment club does not need any financing at the moment. Another investment club loses the race. The club. We, 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 the, the need you put forth was more skewed towards the company and the investment club that you our directors in but we clearly do not know what the money will be helping whether it's the club or the, the the company and rules are rules the competition is for investment clubs and by that quoting give up at him and saying that you don't need the money unfortunately this is the end of the road for you congratulations and to the rest of us who are going home pick a lesson let's build more it's the end of the road for Ahmad investment club Next week on the show, let the real battles begin. <laughs>